Hi, welcome. So in today's video, I'm gonna be roasting TXT's outfits. I know it's TYT, but <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I don't like a lot of their fashion choices. Please keep in mind that idols are not their outfits. I'm roasting clothing, not their personalities, not their bodies. If anything, Pongki is a fellow parrot person and parrot people like to stick together. Which is why when I found out Jessica Viba had three birds, I ended our beef real quickly. So let's get into it. Actually, I'm going to stop you right there to remind you to subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be notified, and you can also do little things here and there to help sustain this channel, like asking me why I pronounce rosé like that, or sharing my videos with people that you can hate them with. The first set of outfits we're going to talk about, we're just, we're just going to mesh these two sets together because there's a black version and a white version. These are basically just Adidas tracksuits, whatever you want to call them. Either way, there's tape on them, so I hate them. Here's the thing. If I were a stylist in Korea, I would have painstakingly, intricately cut out the Adidas logo in some tape of the same color and just slapped it right on that logo. That's the level of innovation and stupidity that I would bring to the K-pop world. Do you understand? I also have the incessant need to point out that they also have tape on their arms with the black outfits. Why just the one color? I don't know. They're not the same length. They're not on the same spots on each member's bodies. That's an issue. The one good thing about these outfits though is that they're matchy matchy. It gives me second gen vibes. And you might think that each member is wearing the exact same outfit, but you'd actually be wrong. In the black stage, Taehyung is wearing an Adidas sweatshirt that zips up, while the rest of the members are wearing Adidas shirts that don't zip up. Love that level of innovation. And then the white stage throws us even more curveballs as Yeonjun is wearing the zippered shirt, Taehyun is wearing a regular long sleeve shirt, but he has a sweater around his waist, and Hwenin Kai, Hyunin Kai is wearing a turtleneck. Absolutely stunning. The one thing they could have added to these outfits to make them stand out, to make them more interesting, to make them so much less boring would be like neon socks or something. That's like the very least they could have done, and they didn't. But it's okay, because Pongyu has a parrot named Toto. But honestly, even though they are a bit boring, I do still like them compared to the typical schoolboy outfit that we will see a lot throughout this video. Moving on to the next set of outfits. Actually, I'm unimpressed. Skip! A lot of the time, they are going to do schoolboy inspired outfits. And if you know anything about my style preferences, you will know that I don't like denim. I don't like big obnoxious belts. Denim. No, I already said denim. I also don't like school outfits. I don't like school outfits. I don't think anyone wants to look like they're going to school. Like, I don't know about you, but I perpetually have had a terrible time at school. It has never been good. So these next set of outfits are the most innovative that we're going to see throughout all of their stages, which is sad because they're not that innovative to begin with. Yeonchun's outfit has the potential to be boring, but I actually love the little details it has. It has these little pieces of fabric that have been tied together and are hanging down, which adds a bit of interest, and when he moves, you see these cutout elements. And I actually like how casual the outfit seems, but then with the movement, it seems like it's a bit more dressed up. For Pongkyu, he's wearing an outfit that is so extremely similar to an outfit I'm sure I've seen V wear. And it also has those elements of tied fabric hanging down with some random strings as well. And I like that. Otherwise, it definitely would be a little bit too boring. Subin's outfit looks like not my cup of tea. It just seems like everyone was told to not do a stereotypical schoolboy look, but they forgot to tell him. And of course, Taehyung's outfit is kind of innovative, but it's overshadowed by the blatant use of denim. I actually don't hate it as much as I hate the schoolboy aesthetic, but go off, Angelina. I actually do really appreciate the cut of his shirt. I think it's different, but imagine how great this would look if he replaced the denim with blue velvet. Just saying. How predictable was that on a scale of 1 to 10? However, Hwen and Kai's outfit is not elevated enough. He looks like he's going to the gym. And to be fair, a lot of them do look like that as well. But at least there are these hanging elements as I've mentioned before. The only interesting thing about Hwen and Kai's outfit are the cutouts at the top, but they're a little bit hard to notice. 
I would have loved if his pants actually buttoned up on the side and he had some cool leggings underneath. Kind of like one of Lisa's outfits in a to-do to-do performance. I think, though it might seem a bit out there, it would actually fit the overall theme of these stage outfits. I don't know, what do you think? Okay, so this next set of outfits is actually the most innovative ones. I lied. Exposed. The truth about Angelina. <laughs> Where's my video? Planning <laughs> Kai and Yeonsun are wearing shirts that say Itsud on them, by the way, with tape because I think it's a message. Itsud means studies. So then they put tape through the word Itsud, meaning they're running away from school. Like, fuck. That was way too much of a stretch. I'm sorry. It wasn't funny. Kevin! <laughs> They're also wearing denim, which objectively doesn't look too bad. I'd honestly prefer denim over a schoolboy aesthetic. But Pumpkin's outfit is actually the best. He has a very shiny green shirt with a red coat that has a smiley face on the back. Good on him. As for the rest of the members, it's too much of a schoolboy aesthetic. Although I do really like Quinn and Kai's outfit, especially the colors of his shirt. I think they're really nice and mixed with the stripes of his blazer. It gives me a hint of eccentricity, which is cool too. As for his denim, <laughs> I'm actually quite fond of the way it's folded at the bottom, but again, I'm going to say something very predictable. Blue velvet. So these next set of outfits are bad, but at least Yeonjun is wearing a fluffy enough striped sweater, which totally would go against school code. Love that level of rebellion, but then again, I'm just a bit bored by the constant repeat of extremely similar outfits. Moving on to the next set of outfits, and I actually don't mind this use of plaid. This use of plaid is actually quite clean, quite nice. Taehyung's outfit looks a bit sportier and a bit less school-like in nature. And I really like all the colors together, even the contrast of his white shoes against his blue pants. The rest of the looks, however, are not my favorite. Maybe if they stand 22. So now we are on to the Halloween outfits, and maybe I don't get it. Are they magicians? I don't know. <laughs> but the thing is, it's still like super underwhelming. I remember the same day, ATs had their Wonderland performances and they had contacts and they had face makeup and they just really went all out for Halloween and then you have T by T. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed. I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. I totally appreciate the whimsy that these outfits evoke, but they also did a very, very similar stage a few weeks later, which kind of takes away how special these Halloween outfits might have been. I have to admit, it is quite cohesive, but I mean, if everyone is wearing the same thing, can you really praise cohesiveness? Like, it kind of, it's kind of a cop-out, isn't it? That's kind of cheating at this obscure game that I made up in my head that has no real-life value for them. These are just school outfits, but there's some yellow. Next, we have more school outfits, and I know what you're going to say, like, that's the theme. In Runaway, they're at school. Of course, they're going to have school outfits. However, they also land themselves in an alternate universe where doors catch fire. Forest fairies, anyone? Fire-inspired outfits, anyone? Huen and Kai's shirt says, after all I've been through, and there's tape through it. <laughs> That's 10% funny. I'm going to let it slide. Also, another positive thing, their mics are gold, and I really like the look of that. But also, Suvin is the only one with a handheld microphone, and you'd think for this part of the choreography that he would have switched hands so that it looked better. I don't know. I'm not trying to attack his character. This is just an observation. <laughs> Okay, so I lied. There are three slightly innovative sets of outfits in this era. Please don't unsubscribe. So, Pumkyu has the coolest pants ever. Wouldn't expect anything less from a parrot person. But in contrast, we have Subin who was probably not informed that today is Saturday and there's no school. R.I.P. So yeah, uh, they did a lot of school outfits and I didn't like them. This is kind of unfair because they had a lot going against them because of my own personal bias from the beginning. But regardless, even if I didn't hate school outfits, like, where's the innovation? Anyways, that's it for this video. Make sure you leave down in the comments below what you thought of these outfits. Are you down for the school vibe or are you not? Because I find like it's just so overdone in K-pop. Shout out to this lovely individual for their funny comment. If you'd like to be featured next time, make a meme of me, Parrots, 22 or Kevin, and you might see yourself in my video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click that bell to be notified. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I will see you guys next time. Bye.